Yo, what is going on, guys and girls? It's the villains here. I am on Madden 17 on online rank match facing the Minnesota Vikings. I am Denver Broncos. <sighs> let's go. Alright, we're returning. Larry, we are at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, as you get a look at Sports Authority Field at Mile High. <clears throat> Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Minnesota Vikings and the Denver Broncos. Field it about right. a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the got 20 to, to the 23 yard line. Um. All right, let's see how this play works. Oh, I got X open. Nice. Gonna switch that. Going to the same play and switch it up. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them in the rhythm early. Something safe. Triangles open. They're confident about something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. All right. It seems tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because you're Ooh. to move the quarterback off Ooh. his initial spot about themselves, but something has to be in the back of their minds. Are we being set up for something big? They've got to be careful. Now Paxton Lynch on third and long. Over the middle this time to Fowler. Dang. All right, going for it. Forward here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the next open. After catches. Let's go. Right Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. I remember pregame All right. when we were talking to him on the field. And he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. Ooh. A few misshapen ones in there. Close to that end zone. Now we know that Ibarra almost defies description at times. He's built like a defensive end, but he plays outside linebacker and does it quite well. Now Lynch, flushed out right, drops it underneath. Touchdown. Let's go. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Devontae Booker from four yards out. All right. Got that field goal. Field goal is a lot harder than man 16. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. You can't return that. We see so frequently here in Colorado that one over the end line, so it'll come out to the 25. First play on defense. <clears throat> oh, he's running. Now the first carry Got him. Adrian Peterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. There's so many things that go into playing the position of linebacker. Some of them are actually subtle. Doing the drill work that you do all the time in practice and carrying it over to the game. Get rid of the blockers and get to the ball carrier and knock him down for a loss. A second down throw for Bridgewater. Oh, <laughs> it looked like they hit the back of my uh, teammate's helmet. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the Got field. Got into a third down. Case, no one came up with it. Oh, under through him. Intended receiver was Laquan Treadwell, and that'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's a punter, Jeff Locke, to kick it away. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Fielded at about the 28. Call that a 46. <laughs> Over, over, over. Right, here we go. 
Let's go. Let's go. Ah, try to back juke. Didn't work. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Let's go. Anderson's a beast. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. Touchdown. For a second, I thought I missed that. Beats good tackle on that play, and result touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. To return, here comes Marcus Sherrills, and he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. All right, back on defense. Let's see if we can get another stop. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Oh, he's running. Nice. On the it's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. What we did to Marcus where his games in Dallas. Did we spend most of the time talking about him rushing the passer? We did, and how about now? Oh boy, he's expanded his game in a big way. Really does a great job in the run game now. <laughs> using his length, using his leverage to hold the point of attack and make plays as we just saw there. Oh, he's running again. Get him down. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll lead here to a third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down. Which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try and pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be all right. Third and three. Let's see if we can stop them. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. Oh, we stopped him. Let's go. And he quit. Anyways, I hope you guys and girls like and subscribe. I'm out.